So, boy, Army, welcome to another spicy one on the channel. Apologies, the video's a bit later, I was busy earlier tonight, but here we are. We are looking at the latest content that EA dropped, and they may have dropped the best centre back on FIFA 21. It is Mbabu. Let's get into the content and have a look at all the different stuff that they've released today. So, we have Pepe, actually quicker than I expected. This card actually is quite usable compared to what I'd have expected for a Pepe. But it is still not great. If this Pepe had five more pace, I could recommend him. His agility's not bad. He's not too tall. He's probably going to be clunky on the turn. Um, his physical and defending, as you can imagine, are insane. Um, he's just a bit slow. In a cheaper team, probably usable, but it's a push, just that pace on this game. And Babu, ridiculous card. We're going to get to him. I'm just looking at the other stuff before we get into that bit. Um, where are we? So we've got the 83 times 5 Bundesliga players one. Is there a guaranteed Bundesliga one yet? Let me have a look at the live. Is there any... There's normally like a guaranteed pack at this point. No, it doesn't look like there's going to be. I'll check the objectives then we'll get into the Mbappé one. For anyone who's wondering, by the way, why I'm saying a fullback's going to be the best centre-back, it's just the way this game plays this year. Oh, that Corona's going to be good. Let's go have a look at that Corona. You can't actually see the card until you go. This is my team at the moment. I'm going to have to fit a few Bundesliga players in there. It's Corona's five-star, five-star, and it's a free objective card. I thought Jesse Corona had five-star tricks. I swear you used to have five star tricks. Well, I mean, it's still a great card at four star, five star. Quick. I mean, with a hunter, this guy's going to have 98 finishing, 97, no, 98 pace. Good defense. This guy's an insane wingback. This guy for free is absolutely ridiculous. Good luck fitting him into your team, but as a free card, he's very good. Um, As a wingback, he's crazy. He's good enough to attack, obviously. He's got great ability on the ball. 98 finishing with a hunter, 98 pace, like crazy card. Um, he have really done a good job on the content lately. Um, I I want to praise EA when they do good stuff, and the content last few weeks has been nothing short of exceptional. Fair play to EA re, re, in, in regards to all the cards they've been releasing. And Babu is a great card that will be very popular. Four star skills. Is nice on um, any player to have just for the scoop turn ability to get yourself out of trouble, but he's somewhat irrelevant at centre back. And Babu is six foot, but he feels bigger with that afro hair. I genuinely think there's a chance with the way the game plays, honestly, that players with these bigger hairstyles tend to have a bit more um, pace. Well, he's rapid, but I don't think his hair affects his pace. Have a bit more height to them, which can be useful. Um, Freestyle weak foot, fine at centre back. I'm talking about this guy as a centre back, by the way. Not, I wouldn't use him at full back. Um, he'll still be a great full back, but I like a bit better weak foot. And um, I feel like you're wasting him, not having him at centre back on this game. But at centre back, you want pace, masses of pace, good physical, obviously good defending, and ability on the ball. This um, uh, Mbabu card, you're probably going to put a, a sentinel on him to get his defending physical up. He does not need any more pace, really. Um, I'd have to see what the boosts exactly are between that and an anchor. You could always go on an anchor just to get that pace at 99, but he's rapid as it is. His ability on the ball is exceptional um, as a, a centre-back. That 92 agility is going to mean he's going to turn so well. Um, don't think the 99 stat that... The 199 stat he's got other than stamina. Attack position, a bit of a random stat that... Um, yeah, I'm not sure that... Um, that's going to help him too much. What's this a flashback to, by the way? Oh, just his inclusion in foot 19 teams. He's about to say, I don't think he has any particular massive like flashback moments of his career, but um, very, very good card. Him and wan are probably the two best centre-backs in the game right now. Anyone who's wondering why I'm talking about full-backs as the best centre-backs, on this game, pace is the most important thing in defence. Pace is so... So vital on this game because of how good through balls are. If you do not have enough pace, you literally just can't defend against certain players. It is really frustrating, really annoying, but it's just the way it is. And even then, 
I've played with centre backs who have an absolute crazy amount of pace. Crazy amount of pace. Um, like Van Dijk. With a shadow, Van Dijk has like 96 pace or something like that. And he still can't deal with through balls because of his six foot four body type and not high enough agility. So you want players who aren't too small. Like I think anything below 5'10 is too small at centre back, but not too tall, probably nothing above 6'2 for the most part. You can get players like Varane who are a bit of an exception. Um but yeah, if you don't if they have certain body types, they just can't turn and deal with the through balls. This and Babu um is going to be able to deal with all those. He's got the dribbling stats you want. He's got the insane defending. He's got the ridiculous physical. How much is the card coming in at that? That is a question. 83, 84, 86. Uh, let's have a look on Footbin and see what Footbin says he's coming in at. Footbin says he's coming at 350k. Honestly, for probably this best or top three centre-back in the game, that is a bargain if you can fit him in. Let's have a look before we finish the video at the Portuguese team of the season. Some pretty good players in there, I'd imagine. Pedro Gonçalves. Four star, four star. I mean, this guy had a fla uh, not flashback, um, future stars card, didn't he? Yeah, that card's crazy. Lack of five star stops him from being one of the very best. If he was five star, five star, I'd be like one of the very best players in the game. This guy can defend as well. This guy's insane. If you fit him into your team, that card's absolutely ridiculous. I'm actually disbelieved quite how good that card is, to be honest. Fair enough. Otavio, I imagine, will be decent. Yeah, this Portuguese team looks ridiculous, to be honest. Fair enough. 97 dribbling, 96 agility, good aggression, rapid. This team's going to be insane. Rafa, four star, three star. Great card until you look at the weak foot, but still useful card. Grimaldo will be one of the best left backs. Bit small and no weak foot really going to hurt him, but he's still a top left back. Uh, Severovic. Three star, three star. Enough said. Not going to get that card. Sergio Oliveira. Too slow, but an okay card. Quires, too slow. Otamendi, too slow. No, no okay, there's the more. Too slow. Adan. Uh, he's a keeper, not a very high rated one. Pedro Porro. I like that name. Um, Not a bad card, actually. A lot of these cards, though, get ruined by the weak foot skills, but Otavio Pedro Gonzalez. Um, who was the other one? I mean, those two are the insane ones, Pedro and Otavio. If you get them, they'll be better than some of the Bundesliga team the seasons in terms of actual pure cards in a red pick. Anyway, guys, appreciate you. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, as always, for your support. Hope you've had a spicy evening. I'm going to stream tomorrow. Hope to catch you guys then. Keep it real.